Hey, okay, guys, I'm back. I had to take a very long detour all the way to the other end of the Dark Pals Waterfalls. Now we're at the boss! I actually like this boss. What do you do? Is someone there? Are you a prisoner here? Hakeem. That's his boss team. Yeah, basically, we gotta do this boss fight. Basically, destroy his barrier. Generators are dead. Once his barrier is down, and then he'll be ready to get his ass kicked. Oh crap! Okay. Crack cross! Fail. Back cross. Gotcha for massive damage. Oh yeah, this team is kind of reprised in uh, the Walter boss fight, Dark Knight Takata. The old fashioned way. Alright. Gotcha! To think I lost to a human. You promised. Answer me. What is the ebony stone? A stone made with alchemy. It creates the never ending darkness in this forest. Eternal night. But the night should help you as well, since you're a vampire. <laughs> that stone chooses its master. My powers pale beside his. Oh, if only I had the crimson stone. <laughs> oh, yeah, she mentioned I also went back and got those items. It was, of course, meditative, it says, as well as NP up. I have to come back to the other door later to thaw it out with the flame whip. Green orb. The crimson stone. He mentioned alchemy. Perhaps Rinaldo might know something. Maybe 
so. Uh-oh. Now nah, screw the door. We'll teleport! Whee! Well, okay. Hmm, compared to the undead parasite and the succubus boss fights, they did pretty well with Akeem. I have a question, Ronaldo. Don't you always ask away? The ebony and crimson stones. Hmm. What about them? You knew about them. Why didn't you tell me? How would that have changed anything? The night still wouldn't have ended. True, but... Well... I would have told you. I shall tell you now. Please. Have you ever heard of the Philosopher's Stone? No, I haven't. <laughs> Making the Philosopher's Stone is the ultimate goal of alchemy. It provides eternal youth. The two other stones were apparently created accidentally. No details of how they were made remain now. I see. I know about the Ebony Stone, but what kind of power does the Crimson Stone have? I don't know the details. It turns the souls of vampires into power for its master. These two stones are the vampire's greatest treasures. Wouldn't the Crimson Stone work for humans as well? If all it gave you was power, that might be so. What do you mean? I've heard that it bears the curse of the vampires as well. I see. So humanity would be lost. There are no greater treasures for those who become vampires. And Walter has the Ebony Stone in his possession? That seems to be the case. It was supposedly lost along with the Crimson Stone. But if the Ebony Stone reappeared, then the Crimson Stone... They also stone... have resurfaced. I pray that it is not here. Foreshadowing gonna help much, okay? Welcome back. What would you like today? Oh, nothing new, okay? Alrighty then. Is that all? Good luck. Okay then. All right. Um, basically, that blue key will take give us access to a door in the Garden Forgotten by Time. But I think I'm gonna go slightly out of sequence. Wait, actually, nah. Next up will be Garden Forgotten by Time. Because that, because of the first five areas, that area has has my favorite music. Okay then. Same verse, same as the first. Thank you, guys. I'll see you for regard, forgot my time. I'm gonna go and um, now that I have that record charm, I'm gonna be uh, grinding for items and stuff from enemies I have yet to. Get items from, so yeah. Okay, guys, see ya.